Jonathan Chebin, bring him in. So we were just talking about you. Perfect timing. I was saying this is this show is way, way, way up my alley. When you make a reservation now, do you make it under Food God? Did you change it to that now? Oh, yeah. Everything's Food God, not just reservations. My whole entire life is literally Food God. It's a brand. I went to court. I changed my name. I heard It's that. the real thing. Yeah, it's, it's real. It's, it's the whole so, thing. I can't believe it wasn't taken. It was not taken. I can't believe it either. And I got it on Instagram. If, it, if you don't get it on Instagram, then you can't it do it. Exist, so until right? I had it on Instagram, yeah, it doesn't exist. Like, this is it. You know, we've all come out of the pandemic looking for a happy place. And when I hear your now name, Food God, it does make me happy. I mean, you and I have known each other a long time. I'm a massive foodie. Uh, I said to Sissini and Tanya and Patty earlier, it's amazing that I auditioned for this show. And I, and it's not amazing. I, mean, I didn't get it because you got it. <laughs> But well, there's one show you didn't get. Thank God. Leave leave one for me. I've known you forever. Leave leave one show for me. Come on. This is the one. We're all working towards this one. I love the idea, Jonathan. So tell us about Food God, which is on Discovery Plus, what you're doing in the show. Right. Basically, you know what? Everybody's been kind of locked up for two years in their homes, just watching TV. Now I want people to get out there uh, and, and kind of see these new experiences. Restaurants are really trying to come up with original, crazy experiences for people. And I take people on the road. It's a combination of a travel and food show mixed with social media. And I think it's kind of the first of its kind because usually all the shows just go into the kitchen, go into the recipes and the chefs. I'm the opposite angle. I care about the restaurant, the food and the experience. And no one's ever taken it from that angle, made it fun, bring fun friends along. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. That's what I do, you know, every day but life. i really wanted people to see it in real life we we find the coolest places i tell people they're like oh we went to this did you hear about this place opened up you know it's a big thing now in new york is these private clubs that's a whole new new world like that's happening in new clubs? york too uh like zero bond like these membership clubs are opening up oh. in la new york it's a whole like new breed of things so being food god i need to be you know on the forefront of it zero bond casa cipriani but i also take people to get you know coolest buffalo wings in Connecticut right. with 50 different flavors. And I do everything, and that's why it works. It's for everybody. What, well, Jonathan, what's something outrageous you've seen or will see? Oh, my God. Well, I just – I saw in, – in, on my show, there was a place uh, called X-Pot, X-Pot in Las Vegas. And they do the most insane hot pots that I've ever seen. They're so beautiful. I, I, I was like, I cannot believe this exists. And it's about – I think the restaurant probably – cost $15 million to make. And the, the way they do the spices is they put them into almost like a bath bomb, but it's a teddy bear, but all the spices are infused mm. to it. So they put the teddy bear into the, like the bouillon and it kind of melts in there. And they just, it's the most beautiful, beautiful thing. Also another place in LA uh, that I went to, they have these rainbow bow, bow buns and rainbow dumplings, which are absolutely just stunning, not only to look at, but you know, you eat something so beautiful. And for me, it's all about the experience, not just the food. It's the beauty yeah. of it. I, Jonathan Chevin talks about food with the same intensity I do. It's like watching yeah. me. I love that. I love that. It <laughs> yeah. feels right. When you connect with the, with a real foodie, it gets like more elevated. By the end, you got two people with two drool balls, like talking totally. to each other, like, like two <laughs> dogs. Do you know, it's, it, I, I often have this fantasy where I will take a Saturday afternoon, start at four, finish at eight, nine, whatever, and go to three places. The first, and it could be whole, it could be buffalo wings, and then a burger, and then yes. a burrito, and then something afterwards. Yes. But that would be my ideal day: is journey through different places to eat, all before the sun goes down. And that's basically my every day. So, like, I go to these. Cre- <laughs> I found I found actually a place that won uh, Burger Bash called Ted's Burgers in a parking lot in Wynwood in Florida, and he rents a little hut inside of a like, outside of a of a brewery. And I saw the picture of these burgers. I said, I need to go there. The line was like really around the corner. And I was like, this is like unbelievable. So I actually, he saw me, the guy. I said, I need to try these burgers. I blew this place up to where it was around the corner. Now it's around the block. Uh, everybody starts going to this place. And it wins like some big burger award at, at wow. Burger Bash from a place that nobody's ever heard. And they smash the burgers with the onions. And you oh, just man. drool when you see it. Get, yeah, I know. It's oh. like that. It's crazy. I it's great, but there's a big could, line now. So there's you can <laughs> it doesn't just need to be smashed potato. It can be smashed burger 
I like oh, that yes. concept. Smash, so smash that you see the grill through through some parts of the beef. That's how flat they make oh it. Then God. they put the onions and they beat them in there with a potato bun. And when you get this thing, you're like drooling by the time you get it. So I love finding all this kind of stuff. Oh my God, my stomach is growling. All right, Jonathan yeah. Chevin here. Food God, watch Food God, now streaming on Discovery+. Plus. Hey, brother, great to see you. Send my love to everyone, all right? I will, Ryan. You're the best. I love when I bump into you. We always bump into each other at concerts backstage. That's how it always works. So he, I'll see you at another concert. The, he has the life we're aiming to have, just so you know. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. No, you're, uh, you're my idol. You're, you're my idol. <laughs> Let's go eat burgers, smash some burgers soon, man. You take good care. All right. Bye, guys. Right, bye, everyone. Bye, Jonathan. Bye.